everybody. It's the Pod Squad with me, Marissa Moore, and Wendy Card. Thanks for joining us. It is October 27th, and it is episode 225. Today's Woo! guests are Marissa Zinni with Twin Rivers YMCA, Lieutenant Alan Williford with Paddling for Pennies, and Howard Condry with Kennedy Children's Home Toy Run. That's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining us, Marissa and everyone that's watching um learn with us as we talk about the people talk and learn about the people uh places events and, and latest happenings in new Bern and surrounding areas and uh jo please join in the conversation comment um on this stream and uh if you have an announcement say and Re it's rex right your it's Max. Max, sorry. Uh, like Max, he's commenting. But if you have a comment uh, about something, say we're talking about an event or something, you have more information or you have an event that we're not talking about uh, that you want us to put out there. Um, yeah. So, so Marissa, what have you been up to? Well, I do want to preface this by apologizing if Max barks. I'm working from home today and there's people installing a fence and he gets very excited. But uh, well, what have I been up to? Well, right now I'm recovering from Ghost Walk last weekend. It was a huge success. We had a great time. If you came out, let us know what you thought about it, um, how you liked it, what you didn't like. But overwhelming our over our our comments are overwhelmingly positive. So we had a great time. Yeah. And, uh, and we're, we're getting ready to launch a, a newspaper. So, um, I know you've been busy. It's, uh, a, li a little bit. Um, this is, we're, we're going to do a, we're going to pause the pod squad for next week. Um, I think, uh, we're going to make an announcement soon. We're just going to be take a couple days that we need to stop, stop, stop working in order to get this squared away and ready to send to the printers. And it's got not going to be a daily newspaper. Um, we don't know the frequency. It all depends on the um, reception from the community. So that's exciting. Yeah. And, uh, and we could not do what we do without people like you and everyone that's, you know, our listeners and viewers and in our audience for sharing information, because truly it is a community um, effort. Um, it's not about me or Newber now. It's about our town. So, um, yeah. So there's, al there's always plenty of things going around in our town, too. So. <laughs> Marissa, you've got just so much going on with just specifically the, the Historical Society. So since we're not going to have a show next week, do you have any events between now and, um, say, Veterans Day or the, the that weekend? Yeah, we've got a couple things going on. Next Saturday is our, not this Saturday, next Saturday, November 5th, is our ABC sale. So it's just an upscale uh Thrift sale is the best, you know, term I have for it. We've got wonderful antique furniture. You know, I was going through all the stuff that we've gotten, um, that we've gotten to sell for next week and it's beautiful stuff. I've got a few things that tidied away in my mind that I'm going to bid for, but it's out at Battlefield Park on November 5th from nine to two. Uh, so come out there. We've got rugs, we've got furniture, we've got nice dishware, you know, a, a huge collection of lamps that are beautiful lamps and artwork. We have some really gorgeous artwork that is all very, re very, very reasonably priced. So definitely um, swing by there if you're interested. And then after that, we've got our next Lunch and Learn on November 9th. It's about the Spanish flu in Eastern North Carolina out at Carolina Colors. And that's definitely going to be an interesting one because the speaker is tying our experience with COVID with what they experienced with the Spanish flu. And there's a lot of similarities. So it's going to be really interesting. And, and she's, um, she's with the university, right? Is it ECU? Yes. And yeah. she's an archivist. She's 
done this um, presentation before and it looks in very, very, very fascinating. She's got a lot of newspaper articles and pictures and primary sources that she's going to talk about that she's basing her research on. So she's dug deep. And, she has. <laughs> and, and from what I've researched in the past, um, there are many parallels from people not wanting to wear a mask or people wanting to wear a mask mm -hmm. and you know, arguments and, you know, we're all human beings and, and, you know, we got through it or touch wood, but, um, and they got through it too, you know? Yeah. So and, yeah and there are ancestors, some of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So let's learn to get along folks. You know? Exactly. So it's, it's going to be really interesting. And, you know, our lunch and are always catered by the Chelsea, which is just delicious food too. So you get to eat a nice meal and learn something. It's always yeah. a plus. And, and they're always, they're normally, uh, there's like an encore a lot of times. A lot of times there is. Yes. Yeah. And one thing you didn't, um, not that you didn't mention if you're, if you're watching this, the battlefield battlefield park also has a huge pavilion so if you're thinking oh i don't want to you know say it, it's cloudy or something um you know you the, there's plenty of room out there at the the park so yeah definitely i was actually out there last weekend or not last weekend that was ghost walk but uh the weekend before that just walking around walking my dog and i saw a ton of families that were you know just looking at all that we've got there's miles of walking trails that have uh, interpretive panels that kind of tell you about the Battle of New Bern and what happened and, you know, what happened in this particular spot and explaining the Redans. And uh, there was a lot of families that were walking around, which was really nice to see. And they said there was people coming, you know, from Kinston, from uh, Hubert, from, you know, all around just to explore. And it was a gorgeous day. So it's a great place to go. Yeah, for history lovers and nature lovers. Mm -hmm. so, and there's benches to sit on if you want to just chill out and read a book. Exactly. So um, let's see. Let's run down a couple of events before we bring in our first guest. Um, the Cattery Open House. Oh, yeah. Colonial Capital. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. So the, they're opening the Cattery or the the cat they're having an open house for the cattery that's located at 1860 old airport airport road uh from 12 to 6 p.m so yeah looks like the um at the charlotte rome cultural center there's a martin luther king jr outreach ministry meet and greet reception on the same day that's to, today actually from three to six 813 West Street. That looks like that would be really interesting to learn about. Yeah. Um, and then Life on the Lesser Stairs. I have yet to go. Have you have you attended that? Yes, I have gone to one of those before. It's really interesting. Probably. They well, they just do a great job of talking about, you know, it's you always hear about, you know, the governor that lived here, or his wife, and you know, all the the higher ranking people, it's really interesting to learn about the, you know, the slaves and the cooks and the maids and what their life was like, where they lived, um, you know, what got them there. So that it's always really interesting. They do a great job of, you know, bringing that history um, to life, which is our motto, but, you know, we all do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your experience because Jane and I, we, we, mentioned that on the calendar quite a few times and we're like we gotta go to see what this is all about and uh thank you for explaining of course. That. it's very interesting yeah and on the 29th which is uh october 29th saturday i think is yeah. colonial capital car show and uh that's at 8 8 a.m in the belt parking lot oh cool and the same day also on saturday Burn into the Beach benefit ride for Michael J. Fox Foundation from 9 to 1 at 529 South Front Street. Yeah. You know and, what that's about? That's uh, Bethany uh, Richards and her, <laughs> all the volunteers, staff, everyone that's 
involved with the bike box project. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be riding to the beach from New Bern to, a, I'm pretty sure it's Atlantic Beach. Wow. And it's a it's a big fundraiser. Um, I think it's her seventh annual fundraiser, but it's a it's a big it's a big deal. And I mean, they work so hard. Uh, they do. It's a, it's very personal uh, for Bethany um, as far as as she has a family member. I don't want to discuss it. I think that that's for her to say. And she said it on the show, but I just don't want to go there mm -hmm. uh, with Parkinson's and. Uh, you know, my mother had Parkinson's and I, I feel that it touches either you know somebody or, you, you know, your relative or, you, or possibly you're experiencing it yourself. You know, hopefully they'll find a cure for Parkinson's and yeah, that was great work. So, yeah. Yeah. And with that said, do you want to bring our first guest in, Marissa? This Marissa, too. <laughs> Yeah, Marissa Zinni at um, the Twin Rivers YMCA. I'm excited to hear about what they've got going on. I'm ready. You ready, Marissa? <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hey, How Wendy. Hey, Marissa. Hey. <laughs> so you guys know each other. We've met a few times. Yeah. Yeah. We also spell our names the same, so there's yes. just an uh, initial kinship there. Mm -hmm. So you're over at the Twin Rivers YMCA. Uh, what's what do you got going on there? We haven't seen you in a while. You doing okay? You doing I'm good? doing okay. I'm doing good. Um, there's a lot going on over here, actually. Um, I just ran back over. We have the bubble going over the pool. It's up. And it's inflated and they're getting the last minute touches done inside which is great um we've had volunteers and um some temp staff and um, another company that we hire out that have done an amazing job so my job while they're here is to feed them and to keep them well snacked um and the water flowing so um just got them pizza and they just finished eating and so back over in my office in my little hole um so that's super exciting but um we have sports registration happening now for basketball which is a huge thing um basketball at the y is crazy saturdays are endless um but we've got registration open for that we're finishing up soccer and flag football right now um after school is going great i oversee after school now um we've got eight sites and we've got kids at all the sites and so that's going great. We just opened registration for winter break camp. So if parents need somewhere for their kids to go over um, the holiday, we've got some openings for that. But the big thing, you can see I've got my medals behind me. Uh, turkey trot's coming. That's my baby. Um, so this is the 15th year, which is crazy to wow. think about. Wow. Um, yeah. Have you done it for those? How long have you been at the Y? I will have been at the Y come March 11 years. Wow. So quite a long time, not as long as Turkey Trout's been happening, but um, it's, it's become my, it's become my baby. I like Thanksgiving. Don't look at me. <laughs> you know, even that week and two weeks before I'm not cooking anything. <laughs> I'm working, um, you know, and my family knows that and my mom's been awesome with cooking a turkey at my house so I can come home and nap for a little bit um, because I've been up all day. So, but turkey trot's coming and we do it in Taberna on Thanksgiving morning. Um, festivities start at six. So we open, you know, we have registration day of um, and the race kicks off. We have a 10K at 7.45 and a 5K at eight. And then the kids dash 9.15. I think it's 9 15. Um, we usually try and plan it as the finishers are coming across. Um, so all ages and you can bring your dog, you can run with your kids, you can walk. We have um, lots of families come out. Um, it's like a holiday tradition. You know, they'll come out and they'll walk. We call it the best leg day ever because <laughs> you're working on your legs and then you're going to eat the turkey legs later. <laughs> so, um, We've, it is it is a very 
family friendly event. Um, and if you don't want to walk or run it, I will take you as a volunteer. Um, <laughs> got lots, lots of volunteer opportunities. Um, and a lot of our volunteers, they take away a lot from it because they're on the course and there are kids and seniors and, you know, all ages running and they're just so encouraging, um, you know, to get all of the people to the finish. And um, so it's super fantastic. Um, our sponsor, Carolina East Health System, they've been there through it all for us. Um, so they're a sponsor and um, prices go up on Tuesday. So we're really trying to do a last push um, for these early bird prices um, if you want to register. It's good to know. Right. Mm -hmm. Who's wearing the costume this year? I don't know. My staff is all in debate. They can't decide. <laughs> Usually it's one of my um, after school counselors or after school site directors. They're all so bubbly and so fun and they love to do it and get in pictures with all the people. And um, Cynthia for sure will be in the inflatable one because she always is. Um, she is my associate family services director and her and I have been together since I started here. So um, we're like the dynamic duo. Um, so yeah, she'll be in that one, but I don't know who will be in the other turkey one. Somebody, somebody for sure. Uh, people just love getting their photo taken with it. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we also have a virtual option. I don't think I, I mentioned that. If you know, oh. if you don't, if you can't make it and you still want to get the shirt, which I'm going to show the shirt, sneak peek. So these are our shirts. They're a forest green. I know this sh this doesn't, it looks black, but this is a forest green color shirt. These are our shirts this That's year. I need to get one. Yeah. Yes. Um, and we did an early, we did an early purchase for hats. Um, we will have some to purchase at, at the trot. Um, so like beanies and then bandanas for the dogs. Oh, I'm super excited about these. So, so we'll have some of those available for purchase at the race. They'll probably sell out. Um, but yeah, we're doing some great fun things this year. Um, so are they only available for participants? The shirts? Like all your merch. So um, if you come that day, you can buy um, the hats or the bandanas if they're available. Um, if you want a shirt, we say register as um, a virtual participant so you can get that shirt. Um, and and we'll, if you register as a virtual participant, you can either choose to have the shirt shipped to you for an extra 350 or pick up at the Y and we'll have those available um, the week of Thanksgiving. Awesome. Perfect. So well, I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do it virtually. <laughs> So do you still need volunteers? Yes, we always need volunteers. So if you go to our website, tryMCA.org or run sign up um, and type in Twin Rivers YMCA Turkey Trot, um, on the race registration page at the top, there's a volunteer option. Or and you can call me. At the and your volunteers would just be helping hand out waters or check people in, all that kind of stuff? Yep, we have uh, registration check-in, volunteer check-in, packet pickup, giving out water, um, helping with kids dash, and on the course, and then also water stops. We have three water stops on the course. Oh, cool. Wow. That's a huge event. Like, how many participants? Yeah. So, um, COVID really kind of nicked us, but last year we were able to get back up to I think we were at 678 last year that's so awesome. i'm really really trying to push the 750 800 that, um, that's pretty, yeah you uh, hopefully this year so we'll see because but prior to covid we were a little over 800. that's wonderful wow so we'll get back there just take some time people are ready to do stuff so and yes and it's outside yeah we spread you know we spread everybody out so Awesome. Well, and we will have the sensible snack truck available that morning too. All right. We love sensible Ooh. snacks. So Marissa, it's and great seeing you as always. And uh, so for more information, visit T R Y M C A.
dot org. Yep. Yep. That's it. Okay. Well, thank you. And you're we'll welcome. See you around. Thanks, right. Marissa. You're welcome. Woo! Have a great day. <laughs> well, that's fun. Yeah. And I didn't scare Max. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. He's trying no. to, it's only when somebody walks across my window. He's an, it, like, he's an animal, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, yeah, that that's, that's a huge event that happens every, I can't imagine the logistics involved in that, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like runs are very hard to plan. So props to Marissa for, for taking that on. Yeah. And and then you've got the weather, you know, factor too. So that is true. Um, but then again, people run the rain all the time. Um, let's see, it's one. Oh, we've got time. So where were we? We were talking about burning to the beach, right? Yeah, we were um, you know, our next thing going on on Saturday is the open house at the Felines First Veterinary Hospital, which I think is a part of Craven Animal Hospital, is it not? It's the new feline center that's right beside it yes and uh if anyone wants more information about that uh dr bobby cutterba from craven animal hospital um they look like identical hospitals one's mm -hmm. for dogs and cats and the other one is strictly for cats um she was on our show last week so people can look and and see learn i mean i really never thought about it i've, I've always I've always been a dog owner because um, I have allergies to cats. But, you know, the way they explain, you know, a cat never leaves the house. Actually, some dogs never leave the house, sadly. But um, so if they don't, if they don't experience any other environment, you know, can you imagine being totally freaked out by, yeah. So, oh, yeah. We really... We've We've got a cat and, uh, you know, we've been trying to, you, you try and get him out as much as possible, but uh, he still pees himself whenever he goes to the vet. So uh, we're excited to try this new, you know, solely for cats mm -hmm. vet over there. So, yeah, um, it's the only one in Craven County and actually I'm guessing probably Eastern North Carolina. I don't I know, know. <laughs> fact, but um, that's a big deal. And they're, yeah. yeah. So they're having the open house on the 29th, which is Saturday, Saturday from 11 to 2. And that's at 4605 Old Cherry Point Road. So good for them. Awesome. And then also, this is a this is huge. The 29th, which is Saturday, Crystal Coast Band Classic. Um, and that's going to be at Hadlock High School at 8.30 a.m. It starts. And they're going to have... A, it's it's a big event so um i don't that's know. exciting i bet that's gonna be great yeah I, I love listening to i don't know why but high school bands you know um but they're just they're just amazing the, you know the way they uh they move you know it's like choreography it's like oh yeah it's so you know, fun stuff like that so i don't remember my high school band being really entertaining and but sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, many, many years ago. Um, and we've come a long way. So that's at 101 Webb Boulevard in Havelock. Yeah. Looks like also on Saturday, the Junior League of Greater New Bern Blood Drive is going on at the Omarks building, which is downtown from 10 to 2. So definitely get out there. Um, I always try and go to whatever blood drive is going on because it's so important. Yeah, well, the blood is, uh, it's a rarity, you know, these days. There's not mm -hmm. a lot of people that donate. Like, well, I, I don't know if there's not a lot of people that donate. It could be more people are in the hospital. Who, who knows? Right, who knows? But it seems like there's always a shortage, you know? Well, and I bet during COVID, they definitely got a shortage because I'm sure a lot of people did not want to donate. Right. Because of the risk of exposure. But hopefully now that we're kind of, the vaccines are available and we're getting out of it a little bit, people will be more motivated to go donate. So. Very true. Yes. Definitely go do that. And if, I mean, if it, might as well stop by there. It's Saturday, downtown Newburn and go to the farmer's market. 
go get breakfast or brunch and then go get blood. There you go. It's a great combination. <laughs> Saturday is going to be packed. And oh, we we missed we missed an event on the 28th, which was the tribute to the Everly brothers. Uh wait, Saturday. That's tomorrow. Okay. Friday, the 28th. Tribute to the Everly brothers. Uh Sean Altman is the founder of Rockapella and Jack Sculler. And that's at 7 30 p.m. In the Oringer Auditorium at Craven Community College, that's presented by Craven Concerts. So that'll definitely be really interesting to go to. Yeah. Um, wow, there's a lot going on on Saturday. They've got the Backyard Bees Customer Appreciation Yard Sale. Oh, a Gigi Snack Shack. That's a food truck. That's yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> it is. Yes. Yeah. Um, 7 a.m. at 2107 South Glen Burnie Road. So I always yeah. love those yard sales. You can definitely find you can find cool stuff there. Yeah, and plus um, it's at their location. Mm -hmm. So then you just go inside and go shopping there too. So it's a great way to draw customers into your shop, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so... Um, we, uh, let's say, okay, we, the New Bern on the 29th, Saturday, uh, the New Bern Police Department, uh, prescription drug take back day from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that's at Reload Drugs and Carolina Home Medical at 1301 Commerce Drive. And get, guess what? I, I just spoke with the, the organize, one of the organizers of the hanging Hanging Tree Ranch Bucking Bulls. Oh, yeah. Do, do you go to that? Have you heard of them? I have heard of it. I haven't gone to it, but I have heard of them. Yeah, well, I, I haven't. Um, I didn't realize they were back up and running, but this is the season finale. So this is a big deal. And uh, it's always like the last, uh, the last event, the big event which is on the 29th, it's uh, tough enough to wear pink. And uh, so these are bull riders, folks. <laughs> and it's a breast cancer fundraiser and uh, season finals. They're going to be offering goodie bags and they're going to have costume contests and raffles and just all kinds of fun things starting at 7 p.m. at 721 Dry Monia Road. Which is if you're going 55 west. 55. God, you're doing the directions, not me. <laughs> okay, say you're heading out of New Bern, right? And the 43 and 55 split, continue on the 55, and Dry Monia Road is on the left hand side. So uh, check it out. There Just we go interesting and different and fun you know and lastly rounding out the october is letters from home from 7 to 10 p.m uh at 203 south front street now is that the convention center uh yes yeah actually yes i got confirmation it's also called the riverfront convention center of craven county it's mm -hmm. official i got that that notice on uh, the other day from the convention center. So no longer called the New Bern Riverfront Convention Center. Um, and also, if you're wondering why we have not listed Halloween events um, after this show, either later today, well, it will be later today, it's Thursday, um, we'll do a separate video because there's, so, there's just too much to cover in, in one hour show. And in the meantime, we have Howard Condry um, joining us, and uh, he's going to be talking about the Kennedy site, Kennedy's Children's Home Toy Run. So, um, you ready, Howard? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Hello, Howard. Thank Hi, Wendy. You. Thank you for joining us. I'm Marissa. 
Hi, how Glad are you? Glad to be here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and Harley Davidson, or Harley, Newburn Harley Riders. So That's correct. Uh, the uh, Harley Davidson of Newburn, when they closed shop for the, due to construction and so forth coming down the highway there, uh, their hall, hall group, Harley Owners Group, kind of took over this activity for the Kennedy Home for the Children. This is the 30th year that we are going to be holding this event. Wow. The uh, Kennedy home is in Kinston, North Carolina, up on Cedardale Lane. And uh, Jimmy Allen started this 30 years ago. Jimmy Allen was the owner of the New Bern Harley Davidson shop. And although I mentioned Harley Davidson quite a bit, that's my background. This event is open to all riders. I, we don't care what kind of bike you ride. Please come out and join us. We kind of failed last year trying to open the event up to Jeep clubs and Corvette clubs, cars of any type. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with the earbuds. <laughs> but uh, that was kind of new for us last year, and we didn't do too good with uh, staging, getting them organized. So hopefully we'll do better this year. So it is open to Jeep clubs and Corvette clubs and stuff like that? Anybody that wants to come. This year, uh, although you'll see on the flyer, and I don't know if I can do this, I've got it keyed up right here. Uh, it work, so I share it like this. Oh, that's the wrong one. Like this. <laughs> uh, you'll see the live music that I have on there. Uh, unfortunately, the live music kind of fell through for us this year, but it's actually going to be a, a good thing. Uh, the events are going to start at 9.30, and we've got a lot of events. The New Bern Police Department motor officers are going to come out and do a motorcycle demonstration for skilled riding. In the cool. Park. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Followed up by that, the Craven County K-9 Squad are going to come out with their dogs and do a demonstration for us. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if y'all seen those. Those are really entertaining to watch. <laughs> they are. They are. And uh, it's amazing the training and respect that those dogs have to their uh, trainers and so forth. It's just amazing to watch them. Yeah. And then a special event that we've got coming on, if you've ever heard of Grumpy Cat. Oh, yes. <laughs> Grumpy Cat, Kevin Helmet is the fastest Hellcat in the world. What? Wow. Over 200 miles an hour in less than six seconds. Holy cow. <laughs> he will be there along That's with awesome. his crew. But he'll be there along with his crew chief, Bill Quay. Bill Quay will be there with his car, his Mustang, Thumper Cat. And they will be doing burnouts for us in the parking lot. <laughs> so that should be a lot of fun so in the past people kind of come in you know the music going and the, the ride doesn't kick off until noon so people have a tendency not to come until about 11 o'clock i urge everybody to come early the shows will start at 9 30 you don't want to miss the motorcycles you don't want to miss the dogs and, you know, who, who doesn't enjoy a nice burnout? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we're able to do this. We've got a lot of great sponsors on board. Uh, you know, Law Tigers, uh, Trent GMC, First National Bank. We've got some uh, new sponsors this year. Um, I, I've lost my place in my cheat notes here. <laughs> but simply right here in air. Is a new sponsor this year. Don't let me forget Piggly Wiggly uh, donates the food uh, for our event. It's served at Kennedy Home at the end of the event, which is great. And Harris Teeter also donates to the cause. And we welcome any donation gift cards that we can get. I uh, invite anybody, whether you can make the ride or not, to please join us if you can, if you can't. Please make a donation. Uh, you can make the donation at khtoyrun.org. Or if you're real quick with your camera, I'll put it up there. 
I have a Q, QR code for it. If you can scan that, and again, that's the website on the bottom to make your donations. Hope to see your donations come in. Yeah, and, and uh, Howard, just, just for listeners, if people want, you know, there's more information on Newburn now, but if if they go, just go to the calendar, they just click on it, or if you want to put it in the stream, either way, we're, we'll, we're going to push this information right. out. So I that, appreciate that, it. That would be awesome, yeah. Now, for those that have never done this, it's uh, the shows and all will be at Temple Church, 1500 Kingdom Way. They've taken over being their, uh, their home base since the dealership closed, and we appreciate that from the church. They do a lot for our cause also. The uh, ride, all the shows will be at Temple Church, and then we'll have a police escort ride to Kinston. Police escort us all the way. And if you've ever seen, and back in a few years past, we had over a thousand motorcycles in this event. Wow. If you can imagine a thousand motorcycles going down the highway, it, it's just an amazing sight. If you're any type of a motor enthusiast, whether it's motorcycles, cars, just to see that escort go down, it's just amazing. Um, with COVID and we had a rain event, even in the rain, we ended up with almost 200 motorcycles show up at this event. Wow. wow. So it, it's a great thing. Uh, we have a lot of fun with it. Speaking it, of Temple Church, uh, after the event, we, you know, we get there, the kids are going to serve us food. We do door prizes and gift certificates. We have a great time. The following day, Sunday, Temple Church hosts Bikes on stage. Bikes on stage. We all gather. We get there early. Service is at 1030. We get there about 9 o'clock and put motorcycles all up on the stage in Temple Church. <laughs> we line the lobby with motorcycles. <laughs> wow. And then everybody else that didn't get there early enough, we start lining the sidewalks with motorcycles. Wow. <laughs> Great That's thing to wild. see at church. And for every motorcycle that shows up for church on uh, that Sunday, Temple Church donates an additional $20 per bike to the Kennedy home. Wow. Um, Fantastic. Great, 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 great of Temple Church to help us out that way. It's a lot of fun, and it's for a great cause to help out the children at Kennedy home. Well, Howard, you know, you said you, you, you don't usually, you know, do um, public speaking events or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. Wow. Well, I would not have guessed that. You seemed like a pro. <laughs> yeah. Well, as I'm a construction manager before I retired. So uh, there was a lot of small meeting public speaking that I had, did have to do. Also, I've been uh, very active in the officer leadership of the hall groups in Virginia Beach and in New Bern before the New Bern closed. And, you know, you got to get up and do a little talking. So, Well, yeah, you, I think you're just a natural. And uh, I'm so glad that we connected. Um, yes, I'm uh, glad we did too. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, no, thank you. Because I, I've been, you know, wondering what was going on with Harley Davidson. And you've explained that too. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, well, thank that you. sounds like a great event. So thanks for sharing. Hope to see everybody there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And come uh, early. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. And, and it's you. a pleasure meeting you. Have a good day. Good meeting you. Thank you, Howard. Take care. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That that was a lot of information. I was I was clueless. Honestly. You that know, sounds I, amazing. And yeah. I mean, you can you can read a press release and you're like, oh, they're gonna have food they're gonna have this that i mean he, that is not what i expected um, yeah that's a lot of great information so well, and i can't imagine seeing a thousand bikes going down the road no wonder they need the the police escort and it's great that that partnership exists between the police department and this event that's yeah that's just amazing i i need to get over i'll get out to the overpass off the 70 um to take a photo because that that's just I remember the what is it, Rolling Thunder or whatever up in DC. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I mean those motorcycles. I mean, it was like 
I, I love the sound of a Harley. I don't know why. Um, but early, oh, yeah. I don't, well, who doesn't, you know? <laughs> but when, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was called Rolling Thunder, but seeing those motorcycles, holy cow, that, that was like a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. like a thousand motorcycles, that's good for them because it's yeah. for a great cause. It's helping those ch children at the, um, at the Kennedy's uh, children's home. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And without further ado, we have, um, Lieutenant Alan Williford, uh, firefighter. Are you ready for us, Lieutenant? Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring him hey, in. Guys. Hey, Can sorry, you hear me? sorry for the delay. Yeah. Thanks, okay, for, cool. thanks for joining us. I love your hat. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, Sorry, I'm kind of stuck in the car right now. Got caught on uh, on the road, so no, you're hope good. everything's working. Okay, yeah. and awesome. You're you're a firefighter with was it Northside? Uh, yep, yeah. we're called Northside Fire Department, Fire and Rescue. Yeah, and you, his logo is pennies for paddling, paddling for pennies. I apologize. Paddling. Yep, no, that's yeah. good. Yeah, and you created and, that, or you you founded your you and. Uh, Mm -hmm. Paul, uh, yeah, Paul yeah. Zeiss, yeah, yeah. It was just a dumb idea I had, and um, he took me up on a dumb offer, and ten years later, here we are. Yeah, I don't think it's too dumb. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell us about it a little bit? So, um, the Noose River. So, I, I live in Clayton, North Carolina, up outside of Raleigh. And uh, we have the Noose River runs right through um, our little town and we'd play on it and take the kids out and friends and family and um, had this broad idea that I wanted to paddle the whole thing. And so I have another nonprofit. So the nonprofit world was kind of familiar and it was a little easier, you know, to sell it if we said, all right, I'm going to do this crazy nut job thing for a reason. And um so I uh, put it kind of started it all together and I was leaving the fire department one day and Paul was coming in and he said, tell me about this thing. So I told him, you know, the kind of the mission and he said, I'm going to join you. And uh, so in 2013 at 12 a.m. midnight, one morning, Monday morning, we put two kayaks in the river up at the dam at Falls Lake. Uh, we sail and we went to New Bern and um, so I'm getting a phone. Um, and it's five days a day and we went all the way to New Bern so it's a 193 wow. mile trip and we've slimmed it down now to four days so we do wow. it in four days and uh, it's been it's been quite a journey for the past 10 years but, um, that's amazing that's crazy uh, Yeah, <laughs> we think the same thing every day so <laughs> My wife always says childbirth is uh, your body tricks you to do it again because you forget how bad it is. And so I say the paddle is the same way. Every day I get in my boat and I'm like, oh, crap, this again. So um, like, I forgot how much this sucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So but um, but now all the money we raise is for first responders or military um, for our veterans and our active guys. And so. Uh, so it's as bad as a stink sitting in a piece of plastic. It's a lot harder, you know, uh, it's, there's a better reason why we're doing it. So for people going through something a little harder than us sitting in plastic. So. Yeah. And well, in this year's ride, um, honors, uh, Wayne County Sheriff. I apologize. I, I should. Have no, it's good. Yeah. Matt Fishman, uh, uh, deputy Matthew Fishman. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. He, he was he was the one that he lost his life a couple of months ago. Um, well, unfortunately, shot in the line of duty. So um, I, I have a one of our board members is from that area, Brandon Jones. He's a Goldsboro fireman. He's also on with Marmac. I saw Marmac on the news. I called him, and it just happens that uh, their sons are best friends. So it kind of a uh, little more personal this year. Hit home um, for Brandon, and, and so it was an honor for us to take up. Uh, his name and honor honor him and his legacy you know going down the river this year just like all the people we've done in the past so we're so we're looking forward to it kind of so yeah, yeah that's 
it's a big feat. And I, it was Lisa Thompson, I think, who reached out to me originally, and she, you know, she what? said she, she practiced. She not practiced. <laughs> she's obviously a, a a pro at this, but. <laughs> and I let her know about the Noose River Keepers, and not Noose, um, the Sound River, the the Pam Pam Gotar and Noose River Keepers, and the uh, River Keepers recently did that expedition. But it was more of a exploratory, scientific, you know, also taking beautiful pictures. But um, for it, sure, it wasn't a four day commitment. <laughs> Holy cow! That's a big yeah. I think they talked yesterday, actually, and uh, and somebody had sent me the article. So whenever somebody does something, we always kind of look into each other's stories. And somebody had sent me their story, and I think they they did it eleven days. But like you said, it was for research, and um, definitely wasn't a hey, let's get the heck out of here kind of moment for them. So, right. um, but we always say like eleven days, and I think Lisa and one of the people talked yesterday and they were blown away and they said, I've never heard of anybody doing it in less than 10 days. And we're like, well, here we are. We're, we're those yeah. people. So, well, and well, uh, just to let, just to give them a little credit, they did it during hurricane Ian. So for uh, sure. Yeah. They pulled out and like stayed on the banks that night, I guess. Oh. But, you know, the whole thing is, you know, just to, um, because they did discuss, you know, there's lots of obstacles out there, you know, because of the different storms that come through. And, and right. so, so to keep you you all safe, um, yeah. and I, I, you're a firefighter, so safety is, <laughs> I mean, that's, you live, yeah, we... you live safety, but also you, you know, you dive into the just yeah. worst case scenarios. So, so you know exactly, right. you know what you're doing. Um, what We, we try to. Sometimes we do. I don't know. You get around us <laughs> and you wonder if we really do or not. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, we, we paddled when Matthew hit and the river was at a, a actually a flood stage. And we had, that was the year we uh, honored, um, we were honored to paddle for Dane Waggett. He was a Wilmington fireman that passed away. And so we paddled for him that year and in Wilmington, they had about five or six guys come join us, his fellow firefighters come join us on the paddle, but the river being high, it was a safety thing. And some of them gave us a little flag saying, Hey, we're firefighters. We can do this. And I was like, but it is a liability in the safety. So we started in Goldsboro that year and kind of bypassed some of the flooded areas. But uh, yeah. So, so what you're saying is true this year. Um, I'm not sure. I think safety might be us um, not getting blisters for walking most of the time because uh, the river is so low right now that we're uh, <laughs> it's, we're we're kind of crying up here a little bit how low the water <laughs> yeah. is. So Man. it's going to be bad. Um, yeah, it's going to be bad. Quick question: If you wanted to donate yeah. to Paddling for Pennies, do y'all have a website or for sure? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we do the whole social media thing: Facebook, Instagram, Paddling for Pennies. And then we have a website, paddlingforpennies.org. And um, we we love sponsors. We love donations. Um, honestly, how it all started was as our, you know, we all did in elementary school. Grandma gave us a nickel for every time we jumped rope or something like that, you know. And that's how this is. We just say, hey, give us a penny per mile, $1.93. It's cheaper than a soft drink, cheaper than coffee. You know, just donate $1.93. And some people have, and I love it. Actually, the first guy to give me, it was a firefighter, gave me a, a little jar full of a, a dollar ninety three in pennies, and I kept it. I didn't even catch it. I kept it and said, "This is that's that's perfect." I'd rather have ten thousand people give us a dollar ninety three than two people give us, you know, ten thousand dollars. So, yeah, uh, but no, yeah, we hit, we take donations of any kind. Um, we sell swag. We have hats. We have t shirts and things like that. And then uh, we run a raffle. Uh, we have three a dollar ticket raffles um, for three different items right now, and that's all on our social media and Facebook page too, or you know website. So yeah, we're and then um, Sunday next Sunday when we get into New Bern, we always get in at twelve noon, and it's at four oh six Harbor Drive. Um, it's a, a house right on the right past Glen Burnie Park. If anybody's familiar with Glen Burnie Park. Mm -hmm. um, the first year we paddled, we stopped there and a couple walked over and met us, Doug and Bethany. And they said, Hey, we live literally a quarter mile around the bend and in a roundhouse. And literally it's a roundhouse on the river. 
And um, they're such rock stars. They're former firefighters. And they read about us in the paper. And they walked over and said, hey, if you ever do this again, paddle a little bit more and come to our house and we'll have a party in the backyard. And so, again, this is our, you know, we've been doing it since 2013. And the next time we did it, ever since then, it's been at their house. And they have a food truck and a band. They have a lot of music. And it's just the biggest party oh, in their awesome. backyard. So, and she's, she's pretty, uh, she's around New Bern. She has, um, rock steady, uh, it's a boxing Back. for Parkinson's. Yep. So Bethany and Doug have just been a blessing to us and our family. And now they're, they're considered family to us. And so, uh, yeah. So if anybody's around in New Bern, they want to come out more than welcome, more than merrier out there next, next Sunday. Yeah. A week from now. We can awesome. Have, uh, well, yeah, we just uh, our last guest Howard. Um, we talked about Bethany because <laughs> yeah, I just no, it wasn't Bethany. It wasn't Howard. It was uh, come on. I what? think we were talking about her when we were talking yeah, about we, things going on. There we go. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we did yeah. in this podcast because she's so involved in the community. You know, yeah, she's she wonderful. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bethany's a rock star. It takes an effort, you know, community and effort. And uh, I'm so glad you joined us today. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. I'm glad Lisa found you. I'm glad for reaching out. I hope you guys are able to come out sometime. I, I know Newburn's busting at the seams with events. They're <laughs> awesome. We love Newburn. We wish we could move down there, but uh, maybe one day. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, but, but people, if they're looking, it's paddling and then the number four pennies, right? So, well, that's so that's our website. Um, it's weird. Paddling for for pennies was taken on Gmail when we set it up. So we had to do the four. But the website and everything else is just paddling for for pennies and uh, social media. Like I said, Instagram, Facebook and um, our website. Gotcha. So, well, thank you. And we'll just and we'll update it as we paddle. So more more stuff. So thank you right. so much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Pad on. You be careful. You look out for those yeah, and the snakes. But uh, oh, so, I, yeah. <laughs> I really hope I can get out to the roundhouse and take a, you know the, the big photo of all of you all. Um, just uh, you know, uh, just thank you for everything. And, yeah, no, thank you. Thank yeah. you, thank Have you a great guys. Day. Woo! You too. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. When, there's just so much we're talking about. Like when were we we talking about we were talking about Bethany? Yes, we because of the benefit ride going down to the beach. Oh, burn to the beach. Thank you. Yep. It's tomorrow. Or no, 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 Saturday. It's Saturday. Right, right. There we go. Okay. See, thank you for keeping me on track. <laughs> well, I've got my own cheat sheet here too. So <laughs> Well, do yeah, we want to do it? Yeah, one person can do it alone. And and with that said, if you have announcements or any information that you want to see highlighted in the, well, on New Burn Now, we, it's on newburnnow.com, goes on our social media and stuff. But also in the print edition, um, the deadline for, for submissions is Halloween, October 31st, which is Monday. So send us the information and we'll try to get it in there. Um, if, if we can't, we, we, I mean, we can't, but we'll do our best. So, and Marissa, you're saying November events, right? Yeah. You want me to run through November events real quick? That would be fantastic. So we've got on the first, oh gosh, I'm going to butcher this name and I apologize. Uh, Gabriel... Foray, Foray, Foray. Foray. I have no idea. Gabriel Foray's Requiem at 7 p.m. at Christ Church. So if uh, anyone, please comment that I butchered that. Be kind. I apologize. Um, also on the first, we got the Nexus Poets open mic with the featured poet, Joan, Lord have mercy, Barosovska. That one, you're a net. That sounds very close. Yes. We're going to go with that. Also at 7 p.m., Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of New Bern, which is on 308 Meadows Street. Oh, and this is exciting. The Women Build Week at Habitat for Humanity for Craven County is the first through the fifth. 
So if you want to get involved with that, um, Habitat for Humanity is a just wonderful organization and, you know, get your, uh, get your, uh, your building skills honed out there, women. So, um, yeah, that's a big, well, there are they have so many builds going on, but they women, do. It's, a, it's a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the second is the 2022 grassroots leadership conference at the New Bern, uh, what is the new name? The, the River Tunt, Riverfront. Riverfront Convention Center of Craven County. Okay. There on the second from nine to three. Um, the Civic Theater is putting on the producers, a Mel Book Brooks musical. They've been working really hard on that. That's gonna be on um going on from the fourth to the sixth. The riverfront or the New Bern Civic Theater is right downtown on Pollock Street. And then with Veterans Day coming up, the at uh, Union Point Park from the 4th to the 12th, the Field of Flags honoring Vietnam veterans will be up. So definitely go check that out. Um, and then well, at the farm then, actually, the Field of Flags, they also have um, the veterans that they filled out during the mum fest the, mm. the vietnam veterans um local chapter had a booth and people could fill out you know the tag of a veteran their loved one or whatever oh wow and it will go on it's like the the flag um the little flag they're putting into the the ground so That's but it's awesome it's, it's an amazing it's like at, at night, it's all illuminated and it's just, it's, it's Carl. a sight to see. So, yeah. Yeah. And then at the farmer's market, there will be a Native American Indian uh, committee of the NSDAR display table. So that's celebrating Native American Heritage Month, which is November. So definitely go check that out as well. On the 5th. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then walk with the doc, keep diabetes in check with exercise with Chris Memoring at 9 a.m. at Creekside Park. That's presented by Caroline East Health System. That's also on the 5th, which is not this upcoming Saturday, but the next Saturday. And then also is the New Bern Artist Studio Tour at uh, from 10 to 5. That's also on the 5th. So, you know... Yeah. It, and if you don't know what the New Bern Artist Studio Tour is, it's, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to cut you off, Marissa. No, 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 you're fine, because I don't know, so I want to hear. <laughs> it's, like, there's so many artists on this, I'm not sure the actual number, but um, there's so many artists that are on this. Visit the, just Google New Bern Artist Studio Tour, and you'll see uh, they should have a map they do every year with each artist and where their studio is. So you can go and visit each of the artists. Oh, very cool. Artists. Okay. And uh, some, uh, I mean, they're all amazing, talented artists, uh, but you can see, you know, from pottery to painting to whatever, graphic art. Stained glass, I'm sure. Like, yeah. Like Lee and yeah, just so many. Um, so that's a big it's, it's going to be huge this year. I think it's, they have a record. I mean, for such a small town, we have some amazing artists. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah, that's definitely something nice to check out. And then, as per usual, the Farmer's Market downtown New Bern every Saturday. We make a point to always go. There's always amazing, great, fresh produce. And then also just really cool um, artisans and artists that have their wares out there. So, um you know, check out the New Bern music calendar as well to see what's going on with live music. I know the different breweries usually have some live music going on. Yeah. Um, local it, bands. And that's on Facebook only. So New Bern music, if you're on, go to Facebook and go New Bern music calendar. So. Mm, okay, that's good to know. Um, and then you can always check out visitnewburn.com for any more information. Or newburnnow.com. Or visit newburnnow.com. Yeah. Or, I mean, you can visit newburn.com. Um, 
wherever you find all of them there's always places it doesn't matter you know it's not about Duber now it's not about each different organization we have got you know we we got to work together because not everyone has the same information you know exactly um, it's, it's a community we, effort yeah instead of living in these silos <laughs> you know try to listen you know listen to all different things and and that way you know we get a better understanding of our neighbors and anyway i'm rambling <laughs> <laughs> well thank you guys for joining us yeah thank you everyone for watching thanks uh for anyone for everyone for giving us input um marissa thank you for joining us and is that a wrap i think it's a wrap that's a wrap folks all right send us your announcements stories events uh to info at newburnnow.com and we hope you all have a great day uh, happy Friday Eve and have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Woo! Woo! Bye. Bye.